Looking for a stock that pays monthly dividends but also has lots of room to grow? Look no further because I'm going to be telling you guys about that stock. And trust me, if you live in Canada or are investing in the TSX market, then this is a video you need to watch. Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video, but I'm back, so let's get right into it. So, a bit of a heads up, just to let you guys know, I'm not no financial advisor. I'm just doing what I'm doing. It's your choice if you want to copy what I'm doing or take my advice. Other than that, I'm not responsible for anyone's losses. <laughs> or, well, if you win, you win, right? But you guys know how I do it. I don't use any big words. I don't need to overcomplicate things. I don't like to complicate things. I like to keep investing simple because you know what? Investing is really that simple. And that's why I'm here. So I've been getting a lot of questions on what monthly dividend stocks to buy. And one of the main ones I have in my portfolio is called Smart Centers, okay? So that's Smart Centers, uh, ticker SRU.UN. And the price at this moment is around $23. I've been seeing its price go from 20 to 25. I think this is a perfect opportunity to grab it because pre-pandemic, the price was around $34. So it's, it's super undervalued right now and it's a good time to get in. The dividend of this stock is $1.85 and it's priced around 7.94%. So that's the yield, 7.94%. Now, why is this an excellent buy? Why am I recommending this? Because if you're Canadian and you've lived in Canada for the last 10 years, okay, you're gonna notice that all these big, huge ass plazas being built around, okay, especially in like the Vaughan, Vitby, the Toronto area, anywhere in the GTA area, okay, you're seeing all these big plazas. And it's this one plaza called, it's like, it's called Smart Centers but if you're not familiar, it has like a penguin logo, okay? But these guys first started off as Penguin Pickup, which was which was a company that started off delivering packages and whatnot, right? The, the CEOs, okay, he decided to get in contact with Walmart. So they made a deal with Walmart and they decided to bring Walmart to Canada. They brought Walmart to Canada around 19, 1989, 1999, right? They decided to bring Walmart to Canada, right? And in 2019, decided to launch a residential plan. So what that is, is they decided to make residential buildings, condo buildings. In fact, they actually have a plan with TTC, right? So in Vaughan, they, they created this subway station called the VMC, Vaughan Metropolitan Center, okay? And they, so the TTC wanted to build the subway and smart centers, they decided to give them the property and the help to develop that land. So now Vaughn is looking real nice, especially their city center. So I kind of got right into it, but let me slow it down a little bit, okay? Main reason why Smart Centers is such a good uh, rate or real estate company is because um, they have so many essential services paying them rent. Okay? Now, a lot of people will be like, oh, why is a real estate company essential? Well, because they have Walmart, they, oh, they have Shoppers, Loblaws, Canadian Tire, um, they also have LCBO, you know, these guys are all paying smart centers rent. We also have TD Bank, we have CIBC, RBC, um, Dollar Tree, um, Metro. There's a whole bunch, okay? There's a whole bunch of these um, uh, companies paying rent to smart centers. And they're, be they're being a profitable company, which is, which is excellent for the growth of this stock and the growth for the share owners because they're receiving dividends without any stoppage. Not only that they have 166 properties paying them rent across uh, Canada, right? They also have certain comp certain uh, companies, especially like LCBO and Walmart. Have you seen the lineups at Walmart and LCBO? No one's stopping anyone from getting a drink and from getting toilet paper, right? So this is just some of the things you have to think about. You gotta you gotta think of the of, of the mind of the consumer. Where is the consumer going? Where is the consumer lining up? You know, who you should look for companies where people don't mind standing in line for 30 minutes to 40 minutes. Like I've seen so many people standing outside in the freezing cold just to get inside Walmart and get inside LCBO. So let's get into the numbers and technicalities of this stock, all right? So it does have a good growth rate. Okay, let's look at the growth rate on this. It's been paying a good dividend since 2011 all the way up to 2000, well, 2021. They're gonna be paying that dividend soon. And I've uh, had a stable dividend for the last 10 years. Now let's look at who owns majority of the stocks. 
So Mitchell Gold here, I think that's the CEO. Um, if you look under that, we got RBC, BlackRock, BMO, the Vanguard Group, which is an American investment company. We also have TD. So m most of these are big institutions and they're not owning no small proportion, okay? Their own, RBC owns about 5%. Okay, 5% is a huge chunk. That's, that's billions we're talking about. Um, what else we got? We got Invesco. So these are all like, these are all institutions. These are people's uh, RRSPs being invested into smart centers now. If you're not gonna listen to me, at least look at where the smart money is going to, okay? So the main thing that worries me about this stock is the total cash value they have is 425 million. That's how much they got, how much money they got lying around. But their debt, okay, their debt is pretty massive. 4.8 billion, you know, debt. And the revenue per, per year has been about, like, you know, 1 billion. Uh, 851 million, that's how much their revenue is, right? So it'll probably take them about five years if they really wanted to, to pay off their debt. But obviously, you know, you got other things to do with that money. But I've seen other companies, you know, huge companies, especially like AT&T, that has a lot of debt, but they've still been running. What else we got? Oh, let's look at their uh, quarterly income. So as you can see, uh, per quarter, they're making about 200 to 250 million. Um, and the earnings, you know, right under 100 million. And then as you see, we're going by quarter two, I mean, we're going to the first quarter to the second quarter. And obviously that second quarter was COVID. But what I think which is very impressive is look at their second quarter to their third quarter jump, okay? So they've already, they already made about, you know, 25, $25 million more. And their earnings even increased. So that's got, that's got a lot to tell you, right? Especially because people were probably really scared, you know, they pulled their money back. No one was going, no one was going, um, to the stores you know walmart and them stop paying their rent so obviously they're gonna lose money right but then all of a sudden you know doors were open again um they realized you know pandemic we need to we need to buy essential stuff and buy toilet paper and buy food you know so that third quarter jump that's worth seeing like that that made me happy and that, that also increased the stock price uh, dividend came back stronger too so yeah guys that's my take um you guys let me know what you guys think about this stock hey guys comment any questions i'm also going to be releasing a, a, a video on the basics of dividends especially for beginners but other than that guys you know thanks for showing me love i'm i'm back i'm gonna try making more videos uh, show me love on my tiktok my instagram um show me love on youtube share the video like subscribe and we'll be back